it's a long story, but the very short version is the family of the Bibikovs is interesting because they, you know, seven generations of them live, um, you know, live and die in Ukraine. They get back and forth to St. Petersburg. They do not in any way consider themselves to be Ukrainians. So in that sense, um, the, but nonetheless, the, neither they do they consider the, 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 the Ukraine, which they're administering and, very importantly, the the last and most interesting member of this family is my grandfather, Boris Bibikov, who becomes an enthusiastic Bolshevik. And although he would hate that comparison, hate this comparison, uh, essentially what he's doing for Stalin um, as the builder, one of the builders of the Kharkov tractor factories, one of the major showpieces of industrialization and collectivization in 1929 to 1931 is when the Harker tractor factory is built. He's essentially doing the same thing for the Soviet empire as you know, his ancestors had done for the Russian empire. And by the way, I should add, he gets shot in 1937 because he opposes uh, Stalin and is horrified by the by, by, by the by the starvation that, that the first five year plan has wrought. So you know, ultimately, he ends up on the side of the angels. But um, while it's an imperial relationship, it's also not the same kind of rela imperial relationship as you know Britain and India. It's much more similar to you know England and Ireland, or England and Scotland, or England and Scotland is actually a much better example because <laughs> you have. Throughout the 18th and 19th centuries, a you know essentially interchangeable elite, you know, lots of major bureaucrats and statesmen go from Kiev to St. Petersburg and may have glittering careers in the court of Catherine II and throughout the 19th century. And the other way around, you know, lots of Russian noblemen come to Ukraine and feel themselves, you know, as, as imperial administrators, governors, you know, Pushkin and so on. Um, you know, they, they all feel themselves completely at home. So the, the elites are interchangeable between Kiev and and and, and St. Petersburg without feeling that they're in, in, a, in a different country. Anyway, all that to say that, yes, I do have a, a Russian, or well, in fact, Ukrainian. I, it's complicated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Part of my family. But, uh, and, and, and that history is illustrative of something that's really, um, that's really important in my story. And that is, uh, and it kind of what makes this war so vicious and bitter 